Well, boys, I figured I'd do a little video here this morning, a little update on this uh, QJE PS30 SWIV. Um, the previous uh, video, I was saying I couldn't get the proper uh, voltage out of this thing, couldn't get 13.8 volts, and I couldn't figure out what was actually wrong with it. So I took it all apart, took the board out, I went over with a, with, 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 with a fine tooth palm home and i could not see anything damaged or screwed up with this thing the resistors are fine nothing broke nothing burned up everything is as it should be but still no 12 volt well to my surprise <laughs> Yeah, and uh, 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 some other people out there that uh, might have the same supply here in North America. Uh, wondering why uh, theirs are probably acting kind of weird. Well, a viewer on my channel, Tom Stowell, he uh, commented on my video saying that the trick to these power supplies is they need 220 volts to operate. <laughs> Uh, I was using it on one hand as you know, it's got the regular you know, power cord, tree pin plug, ground it, whatever. Okay, I throw one ten on it and it should work. No buy. This is a power supply that runs on ta da 220 volts, 50 hertz. Well, there you have it, folks. That's why the power supply won't work. It runs on uh, 220 volts, not 110. That's why it's not operating. So, basically, I have a power supply that is absolutely 100% uh, useless to my needs. So, what in the heck am I going to do with a 30 amp power supply that I have absolutely no use for? Any ideas? Let's hear some comments below. Because if I've got no use for it, it's going to be shelved or scrapped, which is a sin. So, let's, uh, let's put our heads together here, folks. See what we can do with this, uh, with this critter. Anyways, that's the update, and uh, that's it. So yeah, watch, watch your plugins. <laughs> Sandry guys. <laughs>